When property taxes are left unpaid, they're said to be delinquent. And if not taken care of on time, it could lead to charges or even a lawsuit. Worst case scenario, they, a lawsuit is filed against them and nobody wants a lawsuit filed against them or a judgment or even their property taken away. Being the eighth largest county in the state and the largest south of San Antonio, tax assessor collector Paul Villarreal Jr. says they collect over 90% of revenue from Hidalgo County property taxes. This year we collected close to about 95% in the current year. Residents are actually on top of their responsibilities, despite being in one of the poorest areas in the country. Even though the economy was a little bad, you know, throughout the, throughout the nation, mm -hmm. uh, I think that our people are in, in this area, they said, you know what, I'd rather pay my taxes than, than I'll be more conservative in buying a new car, buying new clothes, that kind of thing. The Great Recession of 2008 lasted 18 months, which saw the economy shrink four quarters in a row, the first time since the Great Depression of 1929. But the assistant chief appraiser says the county wasn't hit as hard as many would have predicted. Our values were high, but cons more conservative. The properties weren't selling in abundance or or there wasn't uh, enough, uh, more uh, subdivisions being built. But that doesn't mean that sales weren't happening. It just means that the economy slowed down. So Wednesday night, a tax presentation will be held at the Westlaco Public Library to highlight the importance of the tax cycle, along with informing residents as to what must be done to avoid charges and fees. The amount that they're due increases. Penalty and interest inc increases, additional fees you know, get added. In Edinburgh, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.